The following program is a public service of Gulf Coast State College, WKGC, and Commodore Productions. And now, the Military Hour with Carrie Dieter. Welcome to another edition of Military Hour. We've got some good information to put out today, a lot going on and coming up. And we are going to start with the local chapter commander, Chapter 20-9 of Combat Vets Motorcycle Association. And if you will, uh, Commander, kind of lead us into what we're going to share today. All right. Uh, up every year uh, around in springtime, we do a, uh, a uh, motorcycle poker run for one of our fallen brothers, a guy named uh, Friar Tuck. Uh, every year, we try to raise money to during that portion to give to different charities and, and in the uh, local area. And that is the big deal that's upcoming and uh, I'm gonna preempt Brother Spray and go right to Dee because she put this together. We'll have it up a little bit later. I know we can't really see it this way, but Dee, tell us about, you had the initial idea and you've brought this to fruition. So let's let everybody know what's going on. Well, our organization really likes to raise a lot of funds for um, veteran support. We help a lot of different agencies and organizations, um, mostly in the local community for veterans and stuff. And I wanted to raise a little bit more money, so I worked with everybody in the group. Um, one of our group members donated a condo right on the beach um, for the weekend of the 4th and 5th of May for Thunder Beach, the spring rally coming up. And we threw together a little party basket that goes with it. Um, everybody likes to ride. That's what we do. And that's pretty much all it is. It's just a weekend getaway for spring rally. And we're hoping to raise a lot of money with that to go to some of the different charities. Huge thanks to Brother Rick. Uh, yes. He set the plate. And there was an, another lady that my daughter, Amanda Vaughn, donated some one. of the alcohol basket. Yeah. <laughs> Party basket, excuse Party me. Party <laughs> basket. So it's, it's going to be now, what are the ticket prices and how can people <laughs> take advantage of that? Well, it's limited to 300 tickets mm -hmm. total, um, which significantly increases your chances of winning. And it's $20 a ticket. For the entire weekend? For the whole weekend, condo and on the beach. It's right in the middle of everything. And it includes the party basket with it as well. And the drawing is going to be held after the tickets are sold, is that correct? Hopefully as soon as the tickets are all sold. If not, then we will be doing it during the Friar Tuck Run. And the event is this coming May, correct? It's for this May, yes. During what other event is this? Thunder Beach. Oh, Bike how about Week? that? Yeah. It's a good time to put this package together yes, and it put is. it up. And uh, there's a lot more involved there, but you want to make sure and uh, see the flyer, and you can see that online if you go to uh, www.cvmaflorida20-9.org. It's there. It's also posted on the Military Hour right now, and you'll see it on Facebook. And you can purchase the tickets for the drawing electronically as well. Yes, sir. And all that information is on there. Yes, sir. Wow. You put at least 10 minutes into this job, right? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, we all do everything like, oh, yeah, right now. Anyway, Daryl Spray Painter, he is the public relations officer. So share with the viewers who some will know, some won't know, share what you're going to share about the. Combat Vets Motorcycle Association. Well, we are an organization uh, made up of veterans from all branches of the military service. Um, our common uh, ideals are we, we all love bikes, I love to ride, and we all have the continuing desire to help veterans that are in need in somehow or, or way. Uh, we're made up of active duty, um, former military, you don't have to be either retired or uh, active, and Obviously, a bunch of us are retired uh, throughout the throughout the nation, the national chapters. And uh, the the organization as a whole is continually raising funds for vets to help vets, and that's kind of the tagline. Exactly, vets yes. helping vets. So, yeah. as we move forward, um, I personally know because I'm also a member, but I personally know that we 
donate not only money, but we donate time for helping vets and their families and yeah. their children. And what we raise here stays local. We don't have a mandate to send money anywhere else uh, to national or anything like that. Right. Our, our, our motto is Vets Helping Vets, and our, our chapter believes Vets Helping Vets starts within the chapter first. And uh, helping each other with our different issues that we have. Uh, a lot of us are combat veterans that have issues from that have been brought back from combat. So getting together, uh, we get together once a week somewhere, and we have what we call a social, and that gets us together. We we meet together, we can talk to each other, and we can you know relate our experiences that we've had through combat and then life after a combat. And it's just a way for us to unburden ourselves, I guess, to somebody that understands. Uh, if, if you've never been in combat or never experienced something like that, it's hard to understand exactly what that person's going through without, you know, actually being there. So it's good, and that's what the whole organization was built on over the years, uh, you know, vets helping vets. We also donate a lot of time and money towards other organizations that we've, in the vet, in our area here that are vet, vets related that we, uh, you know, deem that are really good uh, organizations and charities that help vets. Sims Veterans Home is one that we donate to. Uh, David Trogdon and the Hope Project, Hope Project. is uh, one that we're really backing right now. So, uh, but we don't turn anybody away. We've uh, given grills to different, you know, vet organizations. We've don done different things like that over, over the years. So we're looking to help the veteran community in the area. And uh, from what I've seen, uh, and not that we're the best at it or the worst at it, but we do it, and, and we do it consistently. And that is the big thing right there. Uh, do we make mistakes? Well, sure. I mean, who doesn't? Yeah. And I'd just like to say we're also a very small chapter. I mean, we don't have that many people with us. I mean, we're, you're talking 20, 30 members at the most, and, you know, some organizations are bigger than us and are able to provide a lot more, but we try to provide as much as we can, you know, hum humanly provide for for our numbers. We are growing, but you know, we're a small organization compared to like your American Legions, your VFWs, anything like that. So, but we also support their mm -hmm. endeavors uh, as we support many others around the community. And again, it's community focused, community based, because we're trying to get word out and support out to the community we live in and where we ride and so what we do. So, you know, I'm like the cheerleader for everybody. Oh, guess what they're doing at the Legion? Guess what they're doing? Blah, blah, blah. Let's go do it. Let's go help. So, yeah. we also why not? We also support other chapters. Sure. Uh, Pensacola, Fort Walton Beach. There's many Tallahassee, chapters. Tallahassee. Alabama. There's all kinds of chapters in the Combat Vets and other places that have various rides, functions that also contribute to their local veteran organizations and we'll go over and support them and they'll come support us so it's like it's like a big family so we all helping each other so. absolutely I, true i couldn't have said any of that any better and the, the one thing that i get out of it uh with cvma is the no drama you know uh, doesn't mean there's never a problem <laughs> but with the closeness and the camaraderie uh that dispels quickly if it comes mm -hmm. up. It does. So, because we, we pretty much, we hang together. Um, and I've said this about uh, other VSOs, whether it's a Legion or an MVS or a VFW, you've got that instant feeling of... Family. Mm -hmm. We're family and we get it. We understand. We're brothers and sisters. and brothers, exactly. brothers and sisters don't always get along, but you know we, we get along for the most part all the time, so it's, it's a good, good thing. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that you never pick on me being short or this wonderful Frank Sinatra voice that I have, so uh, appreciate that. We have some older, older brothers <laughs> and older sisters, but you know, yes. Yeah. For the most part, it's uh, a good mix, though. Yes. Good mix of age groups, and I like that because uh, I see a lot of young people. Uh, yeah. Hint for you old folks, 
hang around with young people might keep you younger longer <laughs> and you might just breathe a little more. Yeah, we so. got people from 20 years old all the way up to 100, like Dieter. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. I'm only 97. At least my doctor says I have the body of a 97-year-old. So. But uh, our organization is not... Play hard, play hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's just not open to combat vets. We also have other elements that were, were military veterans that, that weren't in combat can also join our, our group. We call, they're, they're called support. Uh, they can be every bit as involved as we are, as the combat vets are just a little, you know, differently, but uh, we're always in our other organization that we have is our auxiliaries, and that's the wives uh, or husbands, husbands. of <laughs> uh, right. our full and patch members, so they're, they, that's a growing organization within us too, so. Yes, yeah. and everybody pitches together, you know, hands, helping hands, and we just try and get it done. Try. And we get it done, so that's what matters. Yep, and an additional plug for the membership side, which uh, Hambone just kind of outlined, all that information is on our website that uh, uh, Dieter mentioned at the beginning. So anybody that's interested or wants to come out and hang out, all of our information is there on that website. And we're going to mention it one more time slowly because I don't think I'm the only one that has to go, I don't have a pen, let me get a pen. Oh, it's they already, in, uh, maybe they'll say it again. So we're going to say it one more time. www. Dot, of course, CVMA Florida. 20-9.org. So that's all you got to do. CMA Florida 20-9.org. Check it out. You will, all the information is there. And uh, we've even got a calendar that has listed upcoming events. Uh, some crazy pictures of good times. <laughs> so there's, so you, can, you can explore that uh, site and uh, get a good idea of what we're about. If you don't like to have a good time, then you shouldn't join our organization. <laughs> Probably not. So we, uh, we almost had a comedy hour here this morning, <laughs> bantering back and forth. We do a lot of that. I'm usually the brunt of the uh, short jokes because I do really like them, but as long as they're short, not long. You didn't get that. Did you? Short, yes. short, yeah. Went right over. <laughs> yeah. The world said. They admonished me for beating on the tables. I'm not supposed to do that anymore. Okay. But in any event, <laughs> but uh, all kidding aside, um, good organization, good hearted people, and uh, we take care of one another. And uh, if you have a problem and you don't let us know, we can't help. Nobody can. And uh, I've seen that happen in every organization that I'm a member of. And uh, it's unfortunate. But if something's going on, and you need help, go, hey, dude, I need help. Hey, sister. Yeah. But we're all full of pride, aren't we? Yeah, Both of us. Yeah, yeah, we can fix it ourselves. Right. Yeah. Oh. No. Don't uh, work that way. Maybe Spray can talk about the fire tuck run coming up in April yeah. a little bit. Yeah, that's, uh, as uh, Hambone also mentioned um, earlier, April 22nd is our annual fire tuck memorial uh, dice run that we do. It's the one thing that we uh, positively do every single spring. Um, if uh, uh, our tickets aren't sold by then, that's the date that we'll be uh, drawing the ticket for the, uh, the, the condo weekend during Spring Thunder Beach, which is the very next month, so it's good timing. Uh, but that was, uh, that's a run we decided to do when we lost, uh, we lost him a few years ago. And it's uh, his wife, we usually try to get her down. So it's a, it's a, a really a remembrance run for him. Yeah. Ho hopefully we can get uh, Deborah here. That would be terrific. Love you, brother. I get it. I get it. So going back to that, um, the CVMA 29 Getaway for Spring Thunder Beach uh, Rally, which is, uh, uh, I forgot the dates, five through... Five through, what's the dates? Five through seven? Five and six May. Five and six May. Okay. Friday and Saturday yeah. night of spring. I was trying to give Thunder away Beach. another day. I'd have been in <laughs> trouble for that one. Trying yeah. to get the whole week away. Rick's going to have trouble. trouble yeah, well, that. I love Rick, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad he's doing well. In any event, there's a lot of stuff in here. So you need to go to that site and check it out. Cause there's, there's food, like, there's one, cups, two, three, there's four, a cooler, there's all kinds of things in there. There's a dozen items just in this one uh, package. The party package the party is worth package. over $200 itself. Wowza.
That's All good. donated. And you can buy the tickets via PayPal and uh, on, the, uh, on the flyer is also your contact so they can email you, correct? Mm -hmm. Or and if they just have questions about the organizations, they're welcome to contact me there as well. Would you please tell everybody your email address? It is hrmdee at gmail.com. One more time. hrmdee at gmail.com. Cool. So, yeah, hit her up. She spearheaded this. Uh, obviously, we're all trying to help and do as much as we can, but uh, thank you for coming up with the idea. Uh, Just want everybody to have work. some fun and hopefully help some more veterans out. So you did such a good job on the flyer. So when I need flyers, I can just go, hey, D, I need you to do this. Spray's <laughs> actually much better at it. <laughs> I had no hand in putting that one together. Though, that, so. That's called passing the buck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but he is much better at it. He threw him under the bus. <laughs> good job. So in any event, and uh, due to some things that uh, have taken place, and some things that are also upcoming. I wanted to mention that uh, the HOPE project that we mentioned earlier, uh, David Trogdon, retired uh, Lieutenant Colonel, has got the MUD run coming up a 5K. So check that out uh, on Facebook as well. Uh, I've got that posted on Military Hour, so you can check that out at uh, facebook.com Military Hour. And that's up there. And uh, David's uh, Facebook page is facebook.com, obviously, Healing Our Patriots with Equines. So that is the Hope Project uh, Facebook page. And again, the work that he's doing is stellar. We had a, an occasion to go out there a month before last, wasn't it? Yes. When, mm -hmm. Yeah. We donated some money to him uh, about a month ago, we went out to, and we got to look at the uh, the facilities. He got a great facility out there, uh, doing a lot of good work with. Uh, I don't know how it works, but horses with veterans and and people that are suffering from PTSD, and you know they go out and they work with uh, they work at the farm and they work with the horses. And for some reason that horse human connection, you know, just like you know you know canine dog connection with uh, humans just you know, opens opens up people that are closed down, and uh, it helps them to, uh, you know, heal. So, you know, it's it's a great organization. We've, you know, like I said, we, we're jumping on board with him, uh, and he's more than likely going to be one of our, you know, he's going to be our title sponsor that we're going to try to raise money for in the, in the, in the future. So uh, we really appreciate everything he's doing. Absolutely, and what he does is free for not only veterans, but for first responders, police, children, families, you know, that he's there to help. And, uh, and I also like to add that he is taking the donations and using it towards that, but he's also using his own dime on occasions too. So exactly. So it would be nice to uh, get him fully funded to where he doesn't have to dip into his, you know, living money to, to get this thing running. That, that tells you what the commitment he has towards this project, so that's great. And another thing about the wonderful community and area we live in, they have embraced uh, the whole project wholeheartedly uh, since its inception, and he's very young uh, as a you know 501c uh, organization. Uh, I want to say a year and a half, maybe, uh, if that. Mm -hmm. But we may find that out uh, a little later on, because as we had purposed to do, we've got something coming up. And through television magic, we're going to be doing something here in a few minutes that we certainly hope is going to show not only what the uh, CVMA is and does, but will also show how we enjoy supporting our community. With that being said, I'm going to reintroduce Michael Hambone, the commander. Daryl Spray Bainter, the public relations officer, and D Squirrel, promoter extraordinaire, <laughs> and, and lovely sister. And through the magic of television, we're going to cut away for just a minute, and you're going to see what we are, what we mean, and what we do. Thanks. All right, David, I'd just like to present this check.
to you, the Hope Project from Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association for $1,500. Thank you so much. You're We're welcome. very humbled and thankful. And thank you for all you do. And uh, for y'all's service as well. And um, it's a great blessing. And like I said before, we're always very humbled. And uh, we've been blessed to uh, continue to serve. And uh, every month we average over 100 uh, vets and family members and even non-vets. We don't turn anyone away that needs help and, and hope. And uh, there's so many out there who, like myself, struggle with PTSD and uh, traumatic brain injuries and uh, the horses um, are amazing, and um, the, f the family aspect, uh, as you mentioned before, is, is really what it's all about. We need battle buddies, and uh, we need family to help each other and to hold each other accountable. And so uh, thank you uh, so much for this, and 100% will go towards the horses and helping the vets because none of us take a penny, and nor will we ever. And uh, so thank you so much. And I've got something for combat vets. And... Um, and this was not scripted, just so everybody knows. No, no. Um, in fact, I set this up this morning, and uh, it's one of our horses uh, giving one of our wounded warriors a kiss. And um, according to his wife, that was the first time he smiled like that in a couple of years. Wow. And, um, and we don't know either how the horses do it, but God's blessed them to uh, know how we feel and, and to respond. And... So we can do everything from one-on-one -on -one counseling or just hanging out together, which is important, to actual um, equine-assisted psychotherapy, which makes me a psycho-psychotherapist. So, um, you know, you all are always welcome to come out and just hang out and uh, have fun and enjoy the horses. And you can even bring Carrie. <laughs> oh, I get to clean stables again. <laughs> we, we do. We have many horses that will make him look tall. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. So much. God bless you, brother. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. Sprung this one on you, didn't you? Did. It was a surprise. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Like I said, not scripted. Nice. Thank, thank you. All right, I guess I'm done. Hey, Caleb. Say cut or what? <laughs> cut.